everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals and today I thought we could make some Christmas tags and journaling cards. So I'm currently working on a journal that has the traditional uh, reds and greens and golds in it and so I thought let's just make some tags to go with it. So let me show you one that I did earlier today and I absolutely think this is fabulous. This is made out of a lot of the lace scraps that I'm currently using in the journal and I just thought that's the cutest thing ever. I know this has been done many times before but to me these these are just so awesome. We need to make some more. I'm just saying. So what I started out with was two pieces of printed cardstock and here is another one that I um am starting on here. What I did is I glued the two pieces together and I sewed around the edges. Now sewing around the edges is definitely optional. And the reason I used two-sided, or excuse me, two pieces of cardstock is because cardstock is a little bit more sturdy than scrapbook paper. And I like sturdy tags. So that makes for a really a uh, nice weight for a tag. It's not flimsy. You can stick it into pockets and it doesn't bend. So that's what I like. So that's what I did with this one. And I did do my uh, rub and buff gold leaf wax around the edge of that. And I also made a journaling card with some writing uh, space on the back. Now these images are from the Graphics Fairy, their premium membership site. I absolutely love, love them. So what I decided though, is I wanted something more neutral to be the backdrop for the tags. And that's why I chose these uh, images here. They're not, um, you know, too bold that'll take away from your focal point, which is uh, this cute little Christmas tree. Oh, I love that. Oh, so fun. So let's just get into it. So like I said, two pieces of cardstock glued together. And if you don't have that, you know, just use whatever you want uh, for your tag and your journaling card. And then I pulled out lace and fabric bits from my bin right here. Let me show you the bin. You guys know how I like to create a bin and I put everything that I'm using in my current journal in there. So I grabbed a bunch of lace and fabric and, you know, yummies from the bin. So let's just get into it. Okay. So what I did on this particular one is I started at the bottom and we're gonna do the same thing. And so the lace that you want to um, cut is gonna be a little bit less than the width of your tag. So it's basically lace scraps. And so I've got a bunch here. Let me pull these out and I've got some larger pieces here too. So let me see what I got going here. And I like, what I like with the lace is varying, um, varying patterns, varying types, uh, varying colors. I just think that that adds just a three-dimensional uh, and a bunch of interest to these uh, lace trees that we're going to make. So let's see. And these are um, all neutral colors, but I'm going to do something different with our next tag than I did with this one. Basically with this one, I used all neutrals and added just a pop of red um, with that this little piece of lace right here. Now the tag that we're gonna make is gonna be similar to this, but I'm gonna use some more fabric too. And uh, so I pulled out some fabric strips from uh, the journal that I'm currently working on. Now I don't know which ones I'm going to use. You know, I just brought them out here. So this is going to be a little bit uh, different than the other Christmas tree. So, you know, we're going to just go for it and see what happens. 
So let's do this first. All right, move my little cutie over here. Okay, we're gonna start at the bottom. Now, if you want your tree trunk, you need to leave a little space at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is just cut some pieces down. Now, this is a little bit large and I don't know, actually, I'm not gonna use that one. I want something scalloped along the bottom, but I didn't like that scallop. <laughs> so there, so maybe we'll use this one. All right, it's still a little wide and I know that, uh, you know, everybody tries to use up their scraps and uh, sometimes I just create more. So what I am going to use is a combination of Fabri-Tac and my art glitter glue. And the reason for that is I like the art glitter glue because it's a fine tip number one. So you can really guide where uh, the glue goes and you don't get as many, in my opinion, big globs of glue. So I'm just gonna glue that down. And, you know, kind of, I like, I like um, three-dimensional, so I kind of smush it together just a little bit. And we'll go back and, uh, you know, make sure this is the way we want it. So let's get another piece of lace. Oh, you know what? Back up. Here I am again. Let's do a little bit of fabric in between. And I think that would be really, really cute. So let's see. Oh, now I cut that one. I don't know, I cut that one a little short. Oh no. So I'm trying to, um, you know, have the Christmas tree wider on the bottom and then angle up, but don't want it too angled so that it gets too small. So now I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac on this. And then I'm just gonna do the scrunch again. Do a little scrunch here. And what we will probably do is come back and trim the sides if the Christmas tree looks a little too wonky. <laughs> oh man. So I hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We did here. Our 22 pound turkey turned out marvelously. And so today, I'm cleaning my oven because, <laughs> you know, splash city and it's just like, ugh, gets really, really dirty. So I'm cleaning the oven today. So it's kind of stinky, but it's a nice day because it's going to be like 50 today. And so we can have the windows open if, uh, you know, it gets too stinky with the oven cleaner. All right. Now, am I getting angled with my tree? I don't know, it's looking kind of like a box. Hmm, so, but that's okay. We'll figure that out. All right, so let's grab something else. What else do I want? I don't know, I got all sorts of stuff. Ooh, that's really pretty. But I don't know if you can be able to, if you're gonna be able to see that. Maybe, ooh, okay, we'll do that. Whoops. I'm just going to do the scrunch again. And I seem to be grabbing my Fabri-Tac more often than my art glitter glue, but that's all right. So I am just angling my way up towards the top of the tree here. And I think that looks so cute. All right, let's do a different kind of lace here. Hmm. Now we're getting to the smaller pieces. Okay. Come on. Okay, that looks really good. That looks really good. And I have to make sure it's stuck down there. And let's see what, you know, we're getting kind of towards the top, right? So I don't know, this is really pretty. Love that. 
Let's see, I don't know what we're gonna put right there. I don't know about that. Let's do another piece of fabric. Okay, cut this guy down. Yep, that looks really good. See, and these come together so quick. So that's why I thought we could make one of these cuties and then go on to a journaling card. All right, so that looks great, right? Yay, but are we done? Heck no, no siree. Now, do I want any red in this? I don't know, let's see. I don't know, guys. This is where I have too many choices. Ah! Oh, geez. I don't know. I think I'll, I will stick a little bit of this in here. You can always, you know, add little bits underneath. Somewhere, maybe. <laughs> I got this glued down so well that I can't do any additional. Oh, but yes, I can. I'm gonna add a little bit of gold there. All right, that looks so good. Now I got a sticker upper right here. Come on. There we go. And then, what else? I don't know. Okay. Now, to me, this is a little too stark right here. See that little piece of white right there? So, I am going to put going to. I got to quit use the word gonna. I don't like that. So, that's my goal is to stop using that word. I'm going to. All right. So, we're going to scrunch this right on top of that. Maybe cut that down just a little bit so that it's not quite as wide. And then just smush it in there. Another thing I like about this is it's not precise. Not at all. Basically, the only thing you got to think about is where you want your tree in your on your card, <laughs> on your tag, right? Okay. Doesn't that look good? But like I said, we're gonna do a little bit of angling on the tree. Just make him a little more tree-like. Although, you know, in real life, they're not. I know that. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, we're gonna go out today, my husband and I, and look for a Christmas tree on our property. We had to cut a bunch down for um, fire mitigation, which is kind of a bummer because there were all these really pretty pine trees. Uh, and they were getting too close to the house, which I know you, get, you gotta do that, but they were all good Christmas trees. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, that looks fabulous. All right, now, what are we gonna do? We need to add some sort of little star or something along the top. So what I gathered was a bunch of little, we've got buttons, I've got a rosette. Oh man, look at that. Or that, oh, that looks really pretty. Or look at this star, there's a star button. Oh, I don't know, I'm kind of liking the star being traditional, right? I'd have to do that. And then look at these cuties. This is from a necklace that I got at Goodwill and I'm chopping it up because it's cute. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. Okay, this is, this is what we got going here. This is it. All right, so I gotta glue this baby down and I think I need to make this a little flatter. I don't know how to do that, but maybe I don't. Let's see. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to make that a little flatter, guys. So I'm gonna need to do that off camera because I have to go out and use some tools in the garage of my husband's. Now this little guy on the bottom, I am gonna glue him down with some E6000, if I can find it, right here. And another thing that I'm gonna do, hold on just a second, don't leave me. Let's see if I have any toothpicks up here. Oh, I don't think I do. Rats. Okay, so what I'm going to do, going to do, uh, is um, glue those two things down. And then along the top, I just added a um, an eyelet and put that together with my crocodile. But, okay, we got one more thing. We got to add his little, his little, uh, trunk, right? And this is just some ribbon. This is the one that I got on sale at Hobby Lobby. Oh, love that. So let's just do that. Whoops. Whoa. These are really fun to do, you guys. Look how cute that is. Now, I like mine at an angle. I don't know. Let me see. Do I? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. What do I like? I like fat trunks. <laughs> oh, that's the funniest thing. What the heck am I talking about here? Fat trunks. Wow. 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 Yeah, because I think it's in proportion with the tree. That's why I like fat trunks. <laughs> okay, so those two are done. And what I'll do off camera is uh, glue that down with some E6000 and also that star. So let's do something different on this one. So move these cuties out of the way. Now this, like I said, is a journaling card. So we're going to do something a little bit different, but in the same, in the same realm here. We're going to have a Christmas journaling card. So let me get my act together, which is, you know, sometimes harder than others. But we're going to use the same stuff. We're going to use a lot of it. Okay, now let me get out some... Let's see, what are we going to do? Let's do something a little bit different here. So I am going to create something along the side here for our journaling card, but it's gonna be along the same lines as this. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, so let's just do something together. Okay, and this is another uh, pattern that I'm using in the current journal. So I like the way that looks just right along the side here. And I'm thinking what this will be is kind of a side tuck a little pocket there so let's just fold that over because why not right get out my wallpaper spreader thingy here go along the side like that oops get it right side up because I, I like that angel so I'm going to try and not cover up that angel so we're going to go along the center here glue this down and I have not thought this through so that's kind of my disclaimer <laughs> but you know what more often than not when you get on a crafting roll things that come together don't they I think they do all right so let's make sure that is secured down there that looks really good. I think I need some more up along this side right here. As I can tell, it's kind of trying to boing up. I don't want it to boing up. I want it to be flat, but still have the ability to um, tuck something along the side there. All right. 
now distress that one edge. Okay, and we're going to go from there. Let's do some more layering. Now I'm going to do my layering on this side over here. I'm going to add, I don't know if I'm going to do some lace. Let's see what, what looks good, you guys. Mm -hmm. All right, now remember, and I'm reminding myself more than anybody else, this is the background. This is the back, Pam. So, which side is on the up? This is an old blouse that um, I cut up. Just glue that down. And then maybe put that over the top. Come on. Like that and kind of angle it. You know, I like to do the smush technique and uh, have things not totally lined up, but that there again, personal preference, right? Okay, so that looks really good. Let's see what what else, what other cuties do we have here? Mm, maybe I'm creating a side, <laughs> kind of a side dangle. I guess is where I'm going with this. That's what it looks like I'm doing, right? Hold on one second. I need to get a wipe here. You know, in my crafting, sometimes there's carnage. <laughs> oh my gosh. And one of the carnages is, one of the carnages, I dropped my Fabri-Tec on the floor and it busted. Look at that. Oh, dang it. Dang it. So, you know, that's when you get going on your crafting and you know, you're just going to town and then, wah, it falls over. Oh, geez. Oh, well. So I think what I'm going to do is buy another Fabri-Tec and get a new lid. Because I really don't think um, it would be, uh, I don't think I could fix that, basically, is what I'm thinking here. All right, now we need some more lace. Ugh. Don't like that one. I mean, I like that one, but not in this particular case. I like that, so we're gonna put that on there, but we need some more lace over the top. Nope. How about this guy? Oh, wait, no. I got too many choices. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. Oh, that looks really pretty. Okay, we're gonna use that. All right. No, but wait, maybe not. No, that one's that one's a little too too white. So I'm gonna trim off a little bit on this guy. All right, that looks really good. So we're gonna go back on here and add some more. This. And just, you know, do the finagling. Do the finagling, which is what I always do. Is just moving your stuff or move it around until you like the way it looks. Now I'm getting all stuck. Getting all stuck with glue here. Oh, and then look. Oh, gee, I just happen to have this. You know what this is from? This is from a popper that um, we used to do on Christmas Eve. And I think that looks really good. Oh, yay. That looks dang good. Or what else do I have over here in my stash? I don't know. Oh yeah, that little rosette. No, I'm I'm liking the I'm liking this guy. All right, so I am gonna glue that down before I think too much about it. Mm 
Now that I could have used Fabri-Tac, but I still, or excuse me, um, E6000, but I think that this will hold pretty good. So let me move this out of the way. And what I'm going to do is pause the camera for just a second, and I'm going to uh, going to um, glue down this so you guys can see the finished product. But like I said, I need to go get a tool from my husband's craft room. So hold on one second. All right, guys, here are the tags and I am so excited. So like I said, what I did is I uh, took a Dremel tool onto the back of this button and made it flat so that it doesn't stick out too much. And I glued this little bit of necklace on with some E6000. And I took the liberty of adding some sari silk onto the side of this. And doesn't that look fabulous? Oh, I love that. And then on this guy, this guy is totally secured down. And like I said, there is a side tuck there. So I brought out a little bit of ephemera just to stick these little guys there. You guys get the idea there. So aren't those fabulous? And they're all from using lace scraps and your fabric. So yay is all I gotta say. These are fabulous. They're addicting. I encourage you guys to go out and make some tags for your Christmas and your holiday junk journals. Yeah, hey, I'm so excited. I love these and I hope you do too. So have a wonderful day, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.